Is, is there a is there a cat tax on YouTube videos? All right, guys. So um, we got the aluminum plates cut out uh, on the MPCNC, and these are actually going to be for the print NC on the Z gantry. So I'll have uh, an image of what those will look like to give you a better idea. Um, the MPCNC did okay. Um, the adaptive cuts are always easier than the contours on the outside. So these aren't fully complete yet. I do have to drill and tap some more holes here. I just wanted to kind of mark my positions on the MPCNC and then I'll drill and tap those later. All right, so you will also notice that I have uh, most of the parts printed out for the print NC. Um, these are the end caps that will go on the end of my uh, Y carriage blocks here. So the ball screw will go through here just to give you an idea of what those look like. Um, these are the older style motor mounts. Um, I have parts on the way, so I'm gonna see how these work. There is a newer style uh, motor mount that I'm going to see if this works, and if it does, I'll probably just use this and uh, see how it goes. So I got my hardware from Granger as well, and uh, a couple more mis miscellaneous uh, parts and tools uh, on the way. So uh, one thing we are gonna be doing here as well is uh, I got the corner of the shop cleared out here. So there used to be a shelf right there with just a bunch of random junk on it. So uh, what we're gonna be doing here is we're getting the bench moved into the corner and then those boxes will be moved out of the way. So uh, we're also gonna be making the bench shorter or narrower, I'm gonna be cutting the wings off basically. So that way we can make room for the print NC enclosure. And another thing to note here is that the MPC NC is gone. So I actually just sold this the other day I um, sold this to a buddy of mine locally, which was a, a pretty good deal. Um, he also has a, a printer, so that is a, a good purchase for him. The machine was set up, ready to go. Uh, everything was, was uh, included, so that, uh, that worked out pretty well. So another thing I'm going to be doing is the spindle is a 2200 watt spindle. And that pulls what 16, 16, 17 amps full load. So I'm gonna be running a 20 amp circuit from the my breaker box into the corner here and I'll probably be using that drop right there. That drop might get moved over and uh, that'll be dedicated for the CNC and probably the uh, all the electronics that go with it. So that is where I'm at right now. I have parts on order and I will you know make videos as uh, you know progress gets going. I uh, I was talked into making an Instagram, so I will be posting uh, pictures on, on that as well. Uh, you know, stuff that doesn't warrant a full video. So it's Projects by Brian with two S's, and that'll be a link in the description. So feel free to follow on there if you like. So we're gonna see where this goes, and uh, feel free to subscribe if you like, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>